in this we will talk about the numericals and calculation of interest on calls in areas and interest on calls in advance the question is given to you thomas limited had issued 30000 shares of rs 50 each payable rupees 10 on application 10 allotment march 31st 2009 the allotment due date was march 31st 2009 first call was due on june 30 2009 and the final call was due on august 31st 2009 sai share subscribed kar diye allotted kar diye lekin ek share holder aisa tha 600 share jiske paas the did not pay allotment money but paid with the first call matlab you can say it was due it was due on it was due on march 31st but actually it was paid on june 30 interest on calls in uh, aes is charged 10% per annum interest is paid by the members due date past journal entries now first of all we will see the normal journal entries bank account debit to share application how many shares are there these are 30000 shares and application was rupees 10 per share so how much amount you have received it is nothing but your 30000 shares of rupees 10 each this is the amount that we have received on application and it is also being transferred to share capital same amount share allotment is due with rupees again 30000 shares of 10 rupees uh, that is the allotment was due now allotment has not been received for 6000 how many amount of allotment that is not being received that is 600 shares of rupees 10 each how many shares have been received that is 29400 shares of rupees 10 each the total allotment was due but with rupees 30000 shares of rupees 10 each uh, you can directly write the entries bank account debit to share allotment that is rupees 294000 how that is 3 lakh minus 6000 rupees this is the amount that we have directly received now share first call is being due with rupees 30000 shares of rupees 15 each now along with first call we have received the amount of calls in areas this is 30000 shares aapka tha aur 15 rupaye ki aapki first call thi aur yahan par hamare paas kya the 400 shares jo aapne allotment ke liye nahi receive kiye the that is being received along with first call after that the share final call is being due 30000 shares और 15 रुपए की आपकी फाइनल कॉल थी जो हमें टाइम पे मिल गए दैट इज बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट टू शेयर फाइनल कॉल फुल अमाउंट इज बीइंग रिसीव आफ्टर दैट व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट ऑन दैट सेंट्री मेंबर्स अकाउंट डेबिट टू इंटरेस्ट ऑन कॉल्स इन एरियस सिंस इट इज एन इनकम सिंस इट इज एन इनकम दैट इज बीइंग ड्यू सो देयरफॉर इट इज टू बी क्रेडिटेड एंड सेंट्री मेंबर्स इज नथिंग बट द शेयर होल्डर्स फ्रॉम हूम फॉर वी हैव टू रिसीव इंटरेस्ट how we have calculated the interest interest is being allotment is being paid three months later therefore we have to calculate the amount for three months and it will be it will not be five percent it will have to be taken at the rate of six percent this will amount six thousand ten percent six hundred three by twelve so it should be it should not be rupees 75 it should be rupees so therefore instead of 75 what you will write it here 150 it will also become 150 now this is the amount that we have received the same amount is being received 150 and 150 this 5% was as per 1956 set but as per 2013 we can say the interest on calls in AS is at the rate of 10% now this is the amount that we have transferred to profit and loss account it's an income Therefore, PNL account is to be credited with the rupees 150. In next, we will talk about we will have a discussion numerical on interest on calls in advance 
also discuss entries for purchase consideration thank you